Yeah. Right, well, people, I'd just like to tell you about uh, meiosis. Now, in this wonderful cell we have here, you can't currently see the chromosomes because they're all unwound, busy doing their job of protein synthesis. And they're getting ready to do meiosis. So they have duplicated. You will see here that as these chromosomes have started to thicken and condense and become visible, they are already in their pairs. And that's stage one. Stage two. The homologous pairs of duplicated chromosomes start to line up in the equator of the cell. The arrangement of maternal and paternal chromosomes is completely random. We don't know which side any particular chromosome is going to be on. And it's at this stage that we can get crossing over occurring. Where the arms of chromosomes become entwined in this process is the line out the centre. Whole sections of chromosomes can swap from one chromosome to another, combining new, making new combinations of maternal and paternal genes. The next stage is the pairs are separated. And we end up with two yeah. intermediate cells. Each cell now has a single duplicated chromosome from each of the chromosome pairs. And the next thing they do is they line up again on the centre. And this time, the chromosome pairs are going to be separated. So one copy of each chromosome now ends up in its own little cell. Cell 1, cell 2. Talk amongst yourselves. Cell 3, cell 4. And here we have our 1, 2, Three, four gametes, each one now with a single copy of each of the three chromosomes. The chromosomes are independently assorted. One maternal, two paternal. One paternal, two maternal. Uh, crossing over has occurred. Hard to see in this frame. Thank you very much. That's it.